Regent exists as a world-class, God-centered institution committed to raising men and women with passion to see the transformation of the continent of Africa. Regent University, we run various programs. We run um, theology programs. We run um, business programs. So we have three different faculties. We have the Faculty of Arts and Sciences, um, which runs mainly the psychology and then the theology. We also have the Faculty of Engineering, Computing and Allied Sciences, which basically runs the, the computer science subjects um, and, then the, and then the engineering. Okay. And then lastly, we have the School of Business and Leadership, um, which has about five programs, accounting, business, management, economics, and so on. So the large number of alumni, they now currently fit into different areas of the economy. Um, if you look at engineering, um, on average, we are, we are graduating about 100 every academic year. Um, I'm very, very happy to say that they occupy, um, quite a number of them occupy a very influential position in society. Regent seeks to train entrepreneurial students, to train technological students, to train students who are independent um, of the systems or independent minded people so they will be able to uh, develop their skills and to be able to establish their own businesses. The region doesn't want to create or to add on to the uh, uh, unemployment of or graduate unemployment and so our training is basically directed at producing students who can find jobs, easily find jobs, and most of, of our students easily find jobs, or establish their own businesses that they would be able to employ uh, other people. Our SRC system is not typically an SRC system, uh, even though, yes, the leaders represent the students as SRC. But what we have done is that we have a parliamentary system. We've, we've formed it, we function it to look like the nation's parliament. And so instead of an SRC president in Regent University, we have a, a speaker of parliament who has his executives, clerk to parliament, women's commissioner, we have a chief justice. We have all the functionaries that we can think of with a constitution governing their activities and everything. And so what they normally do is that that leadership body they plan activities, they manage all the activities of what we we'll call the Regent Ghana citizenry. That is the student body. Everyone is a citizen of the Regent Ghana. And then we have a Regent Ghana students parliament. In this parliament, we have members of parliament. The members of parliament represent various constituencies. We run a morning and evening and a weekend stream. Each stream has representatives, which we call the MPs. We also have societies. We have uh, five societies. We have Nkrumah, Ubuntu, Enim, Makeon, and Stott Society. Now, these societies also have representatives in parliament. And it, so in parliament, we have the speaker of parliament, we have the executives, and then we have the chief whips in parliament who are the governors of the various societies and the various MPs, members of parliament, representing these constituencies. And they organize it just like the nation's parliament. So you go for a parliamentary sitting, it is just like you are in Ghana's parliament. And then they plan a whole lot of activities for the student body and for the citizenry as it were. All programs of studies here have inbuilt computer studies or computing. We programmed or we structured our programs in this way so that our students will not leave campus just knowing, for instance, accounting. But then they know all the information systems that an accountant needs to function in this modern world. 
when our students come here to read management, they read management of computing. And this goes for almost all our programs. So this makes our students employable. Anywhere that they go, they are able to function without uh, struggle. Both in institutions and uh, individuals must have a reason to live. Any individual that ha doesn't have a reason to live can live anyhow. And in any institution that doesn't have the purpose, overriding purpose for existence, can operate anyhow. For us, our purpose is very clear. An institution committed to the change of Africa. And the change can only come when we have men and women that are moral, ethical oriented, God-fearing, passionate, you know, and so loud to see that kind of a change that almost every African is looking for. My name is Amanda Elikni Mia Ayegbe, a level 400 student offering management with computing and majoring in marketing. The journey so far for me has been very thrilling. Ever since I came here, I was groomed in all aspects from education to spirituality and also to social life. The lectures here teach very well and the atmosphere is very conducive for learning. And also we have great networking opportunities. We get to interact with personalities from all over during our Green Book events. And also it has helped build up my confidence and also my aspirations in life. I would like students to apply to Regent University because we get the whole package here and there's nothing left out. So if you're out there and you're done with your WASI, just apply to Regent University and get the best of education. A degree from Regent University prepares you in many ways. It gives you the confidence that you need. It gives you an awareness of your environment, which we're in, that is the African contemporary environment. It tells us some of the challenges about working in such an environment. For example, the emphasis of, or a lack of emphasis on time and et cetera. And it helps us combat all these innate cultural inhibitions that have stopped us from fulfilling our full potential. The university has a counsellor that students can talk to each time there is need for, for them to talk to. In addition to that also, the academic departments have various counsellors uh, that if each student is assigned an academic counsellor that a student can talk to. I mean, in case you, you have a problem academically, talk to your academic counsellor that has been assigned you by the department to help you make your decisions, to help you in your academic issues. That's what the departments have, have done. I, I cannot talk about this element without talking about the way our lecturer-student relationship is like. Because of uh, how we are, we are like a family. We have smaller class sizes and so it is possible for the lecturer to have a closer interaction with students. And so it's possible for a student to pick up a phone and call the lecturer, pick up a phone and WhatsApp the lecturer, I have this problem. And the lecturer may either address the student in person or address that kind of issue in class. When you come to Regent, you are given the opportunity to, to interact with your lecturers. When you come here, we interact, we learn, we know how things go about in the school. So I would encourage everyone to come here because their courses are very exceptional. It's not courses that are um, done in other schools. So when you get out onto the job market, you know that you are standing on a solid ground. This entrepreneurial uh, atmosphere or environment that we create, you see that our students will be coming together usually in groups. Even in school, you will find them coming together, creating networks, coming together and then creating projects. And so right in school, they begin to uh, sell their uh, products and services. And after school, these um, partnerships continue. And this is a very, very strong um, a plus for, for training at Regent University. The vision of Regent University is to produce highly skillful, visionary, God-fearing, ethical, passionate leaders and critical thinkers. Okay, who can function as, as change agents in every area, or every sphere of life. So all these components, we actually make sure that we inculcate these in the students. So when they go out there, they're able to manifest um, some of these attributes. Growing up, I had um, the zeal to become a leader and um, Regent provided a platform for me to 
develop the leadership skills and qualities within me and here I am so far and I think um, it's, it's, it's impressive and I'm, keep, I keep on developing my skills each and every other day. Region has a great impact on the economy of Ghana, has great impact on the development of the country and will continue to impact on the development of Ghana. Don't just be interested in getting a certificate. You must be interested in you, the individual, living and living well. Having the capacity to be able to stand against every challenge that you confront. Believing in yourself that you were created as an overcomer. And therefore, God has given you all the capacity that you need to be able to overcome. Right? And so, you need an environment that will nurture you to walk into this purpose-driven life. And I think this university, Regional University College of Science and Technology, has that kind of passion to work with you, to realize your own potential, and also to equip you to be able to contribute towards the development of Africa and, and also towards the good of humanity as a whole.